Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you feel drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get my green angels, spirit guides, ancestors, higher beings, and ancestors. Please protect me in the violent light as I do this reading for Leo. Show me clear and honest messages for Leo. <clears throat> So I do apologize, Leo. I know the reading has taken some time to come out. I have just been managing a lot of personal responsibilities, but I'm very, very grateful for your patience. So thank you so much. And if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit, how does this person feel about Leo? How does this person feel about Leo? Okay, so we're getting the page of swords, we're getting the fool, and we're getting the six of wands. So you could be dealing with an Aries. There's definitely someone here, Leo, who is keeping an eye on you. I feel like they could be watching your social media. Um, keeping tabs on you here, trying to see what you're up to. Someone here wants to take a leap of faith towards you. You could be in the public eye in some way, uh, maybe through your work or again, social media or something like that. I feel like this person, um, there's a little bit of fear here to come forward, come forward towards you. Um, I feel like they wanna, they wanna be sure is what I'm hearing. Tell me about the Fool card, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Fool card. The Lovers, oof. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Gemini here, Leo. So yeah, that's why. It's because this person has very strong feelings with you. They could be in love with you. You don't even know it here, Leo. Um, this is someone who feels just absolutely drawn to you here. The Lovers card hasn't come out in a few readings and I feel like that to me for this person's energy is saying like they like this hasn't happened to them either before or in a very long time for them to feel this way um yeah they want to take this leap of faith but i feel like they're trying to make sure that either you're not with someone or um they're trying to just figure out where you're at like what's 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 your status what's you know are you uh you know single and loving it or are you willing to kind of be in a relationship like they're trying to figure this out first because they feel very 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 strongly about you here so strong gemini and aries energy coming through um tell me about this page of swords please spirit thank you the ace of cups yeah they want to make sure before they are the nine of cups leo you have someone who feels so strongly about you here there's they they see this as a fresh new opportunity i feel like their feelings for you they just can't even control here um this is not something that happens to them often and i feel like they are trying to see what yeah they're trying to see what your status is are you involved with someone else you know um trying to figure out who you are what you know things about you um this person feels very 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 strongly about you the nine of cups yeah I mean, I don't want to put words in people's mouth. It feels like this person's in love with you already. Like they've fallen like head over heels for you here, Leo. Um, mm -hmm. And they see you as someone who's very on top of their game. Someone who, you know, is very well liked. Again, you could be in the public eye in some way. This doesn't have to be online. This could be like you're just well known for your job or maybe just in your community. Right. I feel like people, um, people really like you and this person is no exception. Um, yeah, very, very, very strong feelings towards you here. 
So this person wants to take this leap of faith. That's how they're feeling. So let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take? Thank you. Okay, so we're getting the nine of wands. So this is definitely someone who's a little bit hesitant here. They're in that wounded warrior energy, someone who um, has their walls up. Okay, we're getting the three of pentacles. You could work with this person. You don't have to. Um, we're getting the hanged man, Pisces energy here. Anything else but this person's actions? The five of pentacles. I feel like this person is not going to do anything in the next little bit here, Leo. It feels like they are trying to figure you out a little bit more first. I feel like this person doesn't want to be left behind here by you. They don't want to be abandoned in some way. Um, so they're trying to be sure because the way they feel is so strong that they're like, I don't want to rush into this and make a mistake is kind of what I'm getting here. Um, they could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini, Aries is coming through really strong as well. Um, tell me about this. Okay. We have the moon, the seven of wands and the devil. And it's interesting because when I was doing the pre-shuffle, that devil card was standing out for me. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or more Pisces energy here. I feel like this person, um, let me just pull on this devil card because the way it's coming, there's something in the subconscious here. Tell me about this devil card. The knight of wands. Okay. Tell me about this devil card. The page of wands. So this is someone who's very flirtatious. Someone who um, I feel like could even have a reputation for being a player, right? Someone who's inconsistent, someone who's hot and cold. Um, it's interesting because you could have this person blocked like if you have history with this person with the seven of wands energy i feel like this person um they're used to operating in a certain way here which is like very flirtatious very inconsistent very hot and cold and the way they feel about you doesn't line up with how they usually act right so i feel like this person here is they're conflicted is what I'm getting with this seven of wands energy. It's like, I feel so strongly about Leo, but this is not who I am. I'm, I'm someone who's, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not committed. I don't, uh, stay with one person. Yeah. I feel like it's like really stressing them out here. This is someone who, um, this is a blockage, right? The devil card is a blockage. It's something that we need to overcome and we all have the devil card in us in some way. We've faced it in some way or other throughout our lives. Right. Um, but I feel like this is someone who's just, they, they could easily connect with people physically, right? But, but the emotional aspect or maybe the communication aspect is not something that they usually do. Um, but with you, they feel so strongly that it's, it's not lining up. Like they're like, I can't just physically connect with Leo because it's more than that. But wait a second, this is not who I am. Like what's going on with me? Like that's the kind of energy I'm picking up here. So it's like this person wants to be sure about you and where you're at because they don't want to get left behind by you. It's almost interesting because I'm hearing like they don't want to happen to them what they've done to other people before. They could have even done it to you before, right? If you have history with this person. Um, interesting anything else about this person's actions look at that the ten of cups they want you they want you here if there was a heartbreak before between the two of you i feel like they they're not over it there's someone here who's just they want you they want to love you they want to have this happy ending here with you um but it's interesting because there's not communication coming through tell me about this ten of cups are they going to tell you oh. The king of pentacles if you are dealing with an aries please go check out that reading because very similar energy came through this is someone who's going to be a doer more so right um i'll post the the, the link for love languages down below because i feel like their love language is either gift giving or acts of service this is someone who does they don't communicate right very very similar energy for the aries reading so if you have aries in your chart if the person you're dealing with has aries in their chart check it out because it's coming through very similarly where this person cares a lot about you, but there's not a lot of communication around that piece. I feel like they keep them, those things to themselves. Um, so expect this person to, you know, maybe offer gifts, offer uh, nice dates or, or, you know, acts of service, help you out in some way, but there's not going to be this straightforward I love you or I'm in love with you or this feels different than any other connection it's more about what they do so pay attention to their actions I would say too um, 
Let's see their intentions with you here, Leo. Um, I'm going to go to the other deck. Usually when that happens, there's cards on the board that need to come out again. But we'll see. What is this person's intentions with Leo, please? What is this person's intentions with Leo, please? Okay, so we have Judgment, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. So this is someone here who wants another chance. The Judgment card is my card of second chances, right? Or someone who's just had a wake-up call, right? If you look at this figure, it's like they're connecting to their higher self. And, you know, I don't think this person is going to say that. But it's they're connecting to their true self, alignment with what they really want. And again, it's like this person comes from an energy of, like, being hot and cold, being inconsistent, being a savage. I just heard, you know, all that kind of you know, I'm not going to, anyway, um, but I feel like this person realizes that's not what they want, right? Like, I feel like they're, they're wanting a fresh new beginning here with you. I love this Ace of Pentacles because it really shows, you know, it's planting new, new, uh, planting a seed, a new seed and with new roots, a new beginning here. This person wants the ultimate happiness here with you. They want this wish fulfillment. I feel like this Eight of Cups is representing like walking away from things that don't serve them anymore, right? So if it's being a player, if it's, um, you know, being non-committal. If it's, there's this energy, uh, sorry, I have to address this because it was coming through, like this, this savage energy. There's this energy in our society of like through our music and through famous people that we see and influencers and what have you of like, don't show your feelings and um, feelings are weakness and being vulnerable is not cool and like all this, like there's this weird message that's going, and I'm like, that is so wrong, right? Like that is not true. I feel like it's the bravest thing to be vulnerable. It's the bravest thing to show your feelings. Um, but you know, the people around us, the music around us, society around us influences us, right? So I feel like this person is kind of having like a wake up call, like, wait a second, like just because all my friends are doing it or just because like it's popular to do this or say this or what have you, they're realizing it's not working for them. So this person wants a fresh new beginning here with you. Um, you don't have to have had history with this person, right? But it, they just see it as a new opportunity because you're getting two aces on the board too. Like this person sees this as so different than anything else. Um, you bring a different energy to the table here, Leo, that they haven't experienced before. Um, so lots of uh, water energy actually coming through Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's Capricorn, um, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But there's not a lot of communication. There's not a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, there's not a lot of communication here. This person's more a doer, right? Um, they go off their feelings and, and, and do as they feel. They don't communicate a lot, though. But we'll see if that changes in the potential outcome. Tell me about the potential outcome between Leo and this person, please, Spirit. Wow. Okay. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. So you're getting another Ace. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of passion between the two of you. Um, could start off as a physical connection, but I feel like it's definitely going to develop quickly here. Um, this is someone who is going to put in the practical effort to make this work, who wants to invest in this, right? Again, with the Six and Seven of Pentacles, this is a practical person. This is someone who will show you how they feel. They're not going to necessarily tell you, right? Um, but with these three aces on the board, Leo, this is definitely brand new. This is, this is a fresh new beginning. So even if you have history with this person, because the Judgment card is here, so this can indicate someone coming back for another chance. This is a, a, they see this as completely fresh, completely new, even with that fool card, leaving the past in the past and just starting over, right? Um, so there's a lot of passion here and there's a lot of doing from this person, a lot of action from this person here. Um, but it looks like this person wants to invest here, like they want the long term here with you. Um, yeah, I'm seeing that death card, transformation, Scorpio energy. Um, Interesting. How will Leo know who this person is? What is an indicator of who this person is? Please, spirit. The emperor. So they could be an, an Aries. Again, this check out that reading if this um, if you have Aries in your chart or you know this person to be an Aries. This is someone who's a boss, who's a leader, who's going to step up. Doesn't mean they have to be a male just because the emperor energy is coming through. We all have masculine, feminine energy, but this is an action taker, a doer, right? Someone who is a leader, someone who will go for it. 
Um, so someone who's going to pursue you, I feel. And this is very different than anything they've ever done because I don't feel like they, they usually do this at all. So look out for some, this could be like a, a business owner as well, someone who's in charge of a lot of, of, a lot of responsibilities. Um, so look on, be on the lookout for that. They don't have to be in Aries, right? And we also have an entire chart. They could just have you know, heavy Aries in their chart. Someone who's very passionate as well um, about what they do and physically, <laughs> I have to say. Messages for Leo, please. Thank you. Sorry, let me just pick up this card. We got Lily, spiritual love. Beautiful. I love that. We have Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. Beautiful. We have Needle and Thread. It's a sincere wish will be granted. Um, so if this is something you've been hoping for. We have Apple. Temptation will test you. So be aware of that. We have lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. So you could even be tempted to be really angry with this person, if, if especially if you have history with them, right? And they're coming back for another chance. We have dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. Oh, I said other piles. So let's go to the other pile. So just for Aries or for Leo, sorry. Yeah, there's heavy Aries in this in this reading. We have elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So that's always a good thing, right? <laughs> it can be a long journey, but when we're kind of at the end of it, it feels really good to kind of look back, right? And then we have the sun, happiness and well-being. So Leo, lots and lots of positive energy in this reading here. Um, let's see, spirit messages for Leo, please. Thank you. Wow, we have paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, a honeymoon phase. So yeah, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of happiness. You got that 10 of cups, nine of cups here, um, ace of cups, like this is like, this is gonna feel really good here, Leo, and you deserve it. I, I feel like spirit wants you to know that as well. Um, poker face, taking a chance, risks and options, not showing hand, gambling. I feel like the taking a chance um, is really standing out for me. So let's see, spirit messages for Leo, please. Thank you for the messages so far. We have a no with an exclamation mark. So if you were asking yourself a yes, no question, I will pull a card on that just to clarify, but let's see. If you were asking yourself a yes, no question, that could be your answer. Messages for Leo, please. No, oh, they're saying pull on that card first. Okay. Tell me about this no, please, spirit. What is this no with an exclamation mark? Thank you. The nine of wands. So I feel like this is, um, this person is coming through with an, a wounded warrior energy, right? So sometimes we can mirror people. If someone feels really closed off, we can kind of do the same because we don't, we don't know where they're at. I feel like Spirit's asking you to be open, open-minded is what I'm getting. Um, not to just mirror the energy that you're getting because I do feel like even though this person can come off like, yeah, King of Cups. So th th this person can come off like they're, maybe their walls are up. Like I said, the communication can be difficult, but the King of Cups is here. This is the King of Love. Right, so the king of love loves deeply, but doesn't offer their cup of love all the time. Right, doesn't always um, say what they're feeling, and I feel like this is saying no, don't do that. Right, like be open, be willing, and if it's you who has to kind of set that tone, Leo, sometimes just setting that stage is what prompts the other person to be like, okay, it is safe, I can do this, and you know. Um, I know there's always going to be backlash with that. Well, I shouldn't have to be the one to show it first, what have you. But like, here's the thing. At the end of the day, if you really care about someone and they really care about you, like who cares who says it first, right? Who cares who calls first or who messages first? It's like, if I want to talk to this person, I want to talk to them. If I want to be with this person, I want to be with them. You know, that's how I feel. 
um, it's kind of getting away from this energy of like, well, I'm not going to say it unless they say it, or I'm not going to do it unless they do it, right? It's just going off of what you feel. Just feel what you feel and just do it um, is kind of what, how that's coming through to me. So let's see. Messages for Leo, please, spirit. I'm going to put those back, so I will. Messages for Leo, please, spirit. Thank you. Take time to breathe out. So taking that time for self-care is really important. And then we have look at the bigger picture, Sagittarius energy. Thank you, Spirit. So that's kind of just like that message that was just coming through of if you want to talk to this person, talk to them. If you care about this person, let them know, right? You, getting away from that, um, the, the ego-driven, I'm not going to unless they do first. Because um, this person is a big doer and they care a lot about you, but they're not a big communicator. Messages for Leo, please. Thank you. So we have fork in the road and we also have time for a nap. So number 13 and number 24. I will read these. They came out like this, so I'll read them in that order. You've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship. Which will you choose? To open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? to go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away. This is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do, invest, and give. Then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with a relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid of the intensity of genuine connection. All roads lead to the lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on the path to a truer experience of the heart. Thank you, Spirit. I feel like that's exactly what was coming through. So thank you for the confirmation. And let's go to number 24 as well. <clears throat> okay, so we have time for a nap. You are a human being, not a human doing. Is it possible you're suffering from workaholism? Could you be the one who thinks who think it's your job, who thinks it's your job to save everyone, to be there for everyone, and to go, go, go until you can barely see straight? You've gone as far as you can. You've worked hard and nourished people and projects. But now you are, on, you are an empty well and have no reserves for others or for yourself. Don't let your ego keep you going full speed when your body and spirit need rest. Exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're doing altogether and to take a break. If you don't, the appearance of this card could portend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. You will feel like a new person if you take that break. Do it now. So you also got take time to breathe out here. Right. Um, so just be aware of that. Right. Our body's always mess messaging us. Our body's always communicating with us, letting us know when we need that break, too. Um, <clears throat> but um, powerful messages there, Leo. Powerful messages. So let's see. These could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates. Take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we have Y, Y again. The A and the K are really standing out for me, as well as the B. Um, and then we have N, Q, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, Leo, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.